I wanted to learn a bit about running LLMs on GPU and I searched eBay to get the cheapest GPU I could find wherein upon I came across this AMD Instinct MI50 GPU which was listed at about 92 euros at the time of purchase. Now this GPU is not officially supported by AMD anymore as it was an older GPU. So at this point of time I was not sure about driver support and if large language models would even run on it. So I did a little bit of research about it and found some reddit posts where some folks were able to run large language models on it. So I offered a price of 80 euros which the seller accepted and then applied a coupon and got this for 70 euros with shipping. Now these are server based GPUs that do not have any fans for active cooling as they are cooled via the server fans. So I bought this fan from Aliexpress. 3D printed a holder, mounted the fan to it and with this I was ready to use the GPU. Now to make use of this I bought this external eGPU mount that connects via oculing cable. Now my board of choice is this Latte Panda Moo light carrier board that has this Intel N100 CPU mounted on it and this board has this PCI Express X4 slot. Now this provides Gen 3 speeds with 4 lane connectivity as compared to the M.2 NVMe slot that provides Gen 3 speeds with one lane connectivity. So I bought this Oculink to PCI Express X4 adapter for it. Firstly, I placed the power supply on the eGPU and then carefully mounted the GPU to the eGPU connectors. Then connected the power supply to the GPU and the eGPU, connected the Oculink cable to the eGPU and the PCIe adapter and finally mounted the adapter to the latter panda move. I had to power the latter panda move with the 12 volt barrel connector to make use of the PCI Express slot and with this setup I was ready to test the GPU on the latter panda move. Shout out to the latter panda folks for sending this one to use for this project. Firstly, I installed the latest Ubuntu LTS version and on boot up the GPU was detected. I don't know why it showed me 32GB but I did buy the 16GB VRAM variant. I then checked the NV top and that confirmed that it was indeed 16GB. I checked LSPCI and it does show that the GPU is connected via the Oculink cable to the PCI adapter at Gen 4 speeds with 16 lane connectivity. However, the PCI Express slot on the latter Panda Moo supports only up to Gen 3 speeds with 4 lane connectivity which is still better than using the NVMe to Oculink adapter as it only provides Gen 3 speeds with 1 lane connectivity. Seeing this, I had more confidence that this GPU would work. I then installed AMD GPU 6.4 installer to install the Rockem drivers from the AMD site and then installed Olama. I used a simple Quen3 model and noticed that it did not use the GPU VRAM and it was loaded on the RAM. Later I found this post which showed that the 6.4 version needs some extra files to work. But I also see that the latest 7.0 version also works with this fix. So I installed the latest 7.0 version from the AMD site, applied the fix from the post and voila, Olama was able to use the GPU to load the model. I then loaded a 14 billion parameter Quen3 model and it evaluated the prompt with 85 tokens per second and the evaluation rate was 36 tokens per second. Next I wanted to build Llama CPP CLI locally to use Rockem and see how it performs. After finding the required build parameters, I built the Llama CLI and on running the Quen3 14 billion parameter model, I got a prompt evaluation rate of nearly 90 tokens per second while I got 41 tokens per second for evaluation which is much faster than the Olama evaluation results. I also wanted to see if I can use the Llama CLI with Vulkan. So I installed Vulkan drivers, built the CLI to use Vulkan and for the same prompt it gave me 42 tokens per second for prompt evaluation and 39 tokens per second for evaluation which is now lower compared to the Llama CLI that used Rockam to communicate with the GPU. Now this GPU uses about 30 watts at idle and can go up to 270 watts of energy usage at peak load. Apart from this, the GPU also has this mini display port but it did not give me any display output. This is because the vBIOS on the server oriented GPUs have their display output disabled as they are meant to run in headless mode for compute. Now you could enable this by flashing some custom vBIOS on it but I have no idea about this. I would still try exploring how that can be done and if it works, I will make a video about it. So subscribe to the channel to see it.
Now one thing I noticed was that when I ran the LLM model during producing the output I would hear this sound which I'm not sure about. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments below. I was inspired by Jeff Gerling's videos about running GPUs on Raspberry Pis, but as he also mentions, this is not practical, but it is that curiosity about if it will work made me try this GPU on this Latte Panda Mo. You must have definitely seen his channel, but I will still link his channel in the description below. Next, I'll be also trying to run this GPU on a Raspberry Pi using the custom firmware that Jeff Gerling and the other community folks are maintaining. So subscribe to see that video when it is out. I have also written an extensive article about the steps that I have used to make this GPU work on the Latte Panda Mu, and maybe you could use this as a guide for some other AMD GPUs. So I will link the article into the description below. Now, if you like to see such videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as hit that like button for more such videos to come. You can also support this channel via Patreon or you could just buy me a coffee with the links down into the description below. Till then, I will see you in my next one.